All right. So, I died on hardcore. Uh, I got to level 41. Um, I was level 40. And this is a level 45 recommended zone. And uh, I was fighting Lilith. I didn't die on Lilith, though. But... Uh, I feel like this is part of this is this is like kind of connected to why I died. I feel like I didn't stay true to myself. But I want to show you guys the the Lilith fight as well real quick. So Lilith uh it's a bit laggy, but whatever. So Lilith has two phases uh which I didn't know. Uh the first phase is kind of easy, you know? Like the first phase is just like dodge all the stuff on the ground, you know, you do some damage, she teleports to you every now and then and like blade storms a bit. Thank you for the sub. Uh, and you have to dodge that uh, fire attack that she just did there. So like, she, this is like the scary one where she teleports in and like blade storms you a bit, you know, that right there, because it's hard to dodge the first hit. This one is a, a big animation, so it's easy to dodge that one. And um, yeah, that one, uh, it's good if you're a sork, like you just shield that one. Um, so I'm playing uh, lightning sork, by the way. And uh, this is on hardcore, so I was doing like the race to top thousand. I wanted to have my name uh, tattooed on the Lilith statue at Blizzard HQ, uh, you know, somewhere in a nice spot, preferably. Uh, but the dream is kind of still alive. Uh, yeah, I kind of d dodged most of it. Like phase one was kind of a cake, you know. Um, this is all she does basically in phase one. She has a lot of HP though, so it, it takes a while. And I'm, as you can see, at the bottom, like next to my HP bar, you see the number 40 above my 1. So that's my level. So I'm almost level 41. And um, on Hardcore, oh yeah, she starts spawning mobs as well. Like she starts doing basically everything a bit more frequently, like the lower she gets. It's a really cool fight. Um... Should I play it with sound? Is that better, actually? To play it with uh, within game sound? There's, but nah, whatever. We just wing it like this. We can add some Diablo music in the background. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she summons a bunch of demons. And like at this point, you know, it's been like an okay fight. So I thought, okay, well, you know, when I kill her now, like she's, she's kind of dead, you know? I was like, oh, this is an easy clap. Uh, I was owning, you know, I really am. Uh, this is the easiest thing ever, you know. I thought this was I thought it was done now, but it turns out she has a much more difficult phase two, uh, which I was about to find out. <laughs> so she comes back, and uh, she's a lot worse, and she has full HP again, and she's. She's taking some dam, but uh, she, it's, uh, it's not ideal. So I pop my ult, and she porched my ult, which is not good for us. And she starts doing a lot of crazy things, like that. Uh, like that black stuff on the map right there. She, like, flies and covers the whole map in, like, black stuff. Um, and uh, when she does that, you can't stand in the black stuff, because then you get hit by that red stuff. And the red stuff is not ideal. Now, these, like, little worms as well on the ground, if they hit you, uh, they do damage, and you become in, uh, vulnerable, which means you take 20% more damage. Um, so she starts summoning things that explode. She starts summoning these worms that you have to dodge. She also has, like, a tail attack that she just did right there. Uh, and now she's going to fly up and do the, the black stuff. And it just gets worse and worse, uh, this fight. Like... Uh, You'll see in a second. She's going to start chopping off pieces of the of the platform that you're fighting on. And now, a couple of things is you guys can see she's orange because I'm level 40. So I'm way under leveled here. And she has these cleave attacks that she does as well. You have to dodge all of them. You can't be near her when she does those. So if you're a melee, good luck. Um, and um, now you can see here. So now... She just she's chopping off a part of the map, and I didn't I I just realized that right there. I was like, uh, the map is falling off right here, so I dashed back in on the platform. And I think if you stand, I think you you die straight up if you fall off right there. Like I think it's just a death. Uh, and on hardcore, if you die, that is it. Your character is gone. 
Um, the other thing is that I have level 20 pots. I didn't upgrade my pots. I only have four pots capacity as well. So um, it's, it's a little sketchy at this point. Uh, you know, like she's low. I'm kind of low and we're starting to panic a little bit. Like at this point, I've been up for, uh, you know, close to like 14 hours. Uh, actually, 15 hours, I think I've been playing. And I've been up all night. And she's chopping off another piece of the map. There are basically no uh, area to really move on and dodge. So now I'm starting to panic because I'm really, really low. And I really don't have much pots. So if I get hit by anything at this point, I don't have any pots. Like now the next attack, you saw how much damage that did, uh, that one did. I I'm dead. Like right now, if I get hit one more time, I'm dead. I have a barrier here. So I absorbed something that would have killed me there. And then here I panic. And I don't stay true to myself. And I do go for the scroll of escape. Now, this was a mistake. Because if we look here, right before I pop it, she's actually, she just stunned herself with her animation. And I have my ult up. And I also have mana when I teleport. Like right here. You can see my mana bar. Like here, she's, she's dead. I have her. I just need to pop my ult and send her. I'm full mana. But I choke and I peace out. And after I peace out, uh, I had her. I really think I had her. And yeah, it's hardcore. So if I die, that's it. It's time to start over. So I'm like, you know what? I'm level 40. I'm almost level 41. Let's go and get some more XP before we attempt Lilith again. Let's try to at least get to level 41. And, you know, all my pots are weak. You can see here the upgrade guys telling me that I can upgrade them and all that. And uh, eventually I get to 41. And I uh, decide I'm going to do another attempt here at Lilith. Now, on my way to Lilith, I forget to respec out of uh, this single target ability back to Arclash. And what ended up happening is that I uh, pull a bunch of elites foreshadowing there a little bit but i pull a bunch of elites here and they stun lock me against this wall and then i die because i forgot to respec so i didn't clear back to her so if i just stayed true to myself i would have killed her and then just gone to bed because that was the plan i was like i'm 15 hours in or 14 and a half hours in or something i'm gonna kill lilith and then i'm going to sleep and it's gonna feel good i'm gonna be level 41 i'm gonna wake up fresh i'm gonna be in the race looking good uh but what ended up happening is i chickened out i didn't stay true to myself and then karma got me because i um i went for the chicken play so that's what happened to my first sork uh i'm still gonna play hardcore and i'm still gonna have a uh, second sork and real quick, because a lot of people ask me about, about build as well. Uh, yeah, I was really doing so well. It was going so well. Uh, but the build that I recommend uh, for leveling is... Uh, so it's the Chain Lightning build. Uh, and then at 50, I'm going to swap to the uh, Ice Shards build. I have a, a guide on my YouTube for both of them. Uh, but the only difference on the Chain Lightning build is really that I'm going Arc Lash instead of uh, Spark. Uh, because Arc Lash is just way better when you're leveling. It's just easier to cleave packs of mobs like that, plus you can stun them. Uh, if I had Arc Lash, I wouldn't have died on that Elite pack that uh, stunlocked me and sent me. Um, I really didn't have any troubles on those kind of packs, but uh, yeah, so I go like Arc Lash and Max Chain Lightning and get the self bounce. Uh, glass Cannon, you know, all the, the damage stuff. Uh, Ice Armor, Frost Nova, Mystical Nova, uh, and uh, I got uh, 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 I think I went precision magic and I went uh, 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 I went these as well on um, these extra lightning bonuses here and I went verse mastery as well uh, and I also put points in uh, devastation and elemental dominance so uh, real quick that's the build I've been using and I got to level 41 in hardcore on my first sort before that happened and hopefully we get to 100 on the second one peace